So we want to modify our weekly pay algorithm to handle um, overtime. So we'll start our flow rhythm and instead of starting from scratch we'll just open uh, our previous uh, weekly wage program and then we'll uh, add in overtime. Uh, I actually want to create another variable although this is not absolutely necessary but just to make uh, things a little bit clearer uh, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a variable called overtime pay and make that a real number and then we'll scroll down here the first part is going to be the same we're just entering the hours work hourly wage uh, at this point we have to make a decision on how to calculate the wages based on the number of hours uh, we put in so we have the condition for uh, 40 hours and under so right above this uh, I'm going to click here and we're going to put in our control statement, our if statement, which is the diamond symbol here. And then I'll put in my condition. So if hours worked is greater than 40, we're going to do something different than if they're 40 or less. And so I already have uh, the for 40 or less, I have this. So I'm just going to cut that and paste it. Uh, right into the false uh, section so we have that covered and now we need to go over here and do an assignment for uh, overtime pay so here we'll put in the overtime pay and we'll put in uh, hours worked uh, but we need to take out the regular hour, so we're going to do that minus 40. Okay, and that will be multiplied times the hourly wage. And then typically we get, what, 1.5 times that. So we'll multiply that times the multiplier, uh, one and a half times um, the regular wage. So that'll calculate our overtime pay, and then we just need to add that in. Uh, and so for total pay, we'll go ahead and create another assignment. And we'll say total pay. Total pay is equal to the hourly wage times only the first 40 hours plus the overtime pay. And that should take care of it. We, are, we already have the uh, Either way, total pay uh, is going to be calculated and output here. So let's run it and test it for uh, 50 hours at 7.25 an hour. And we get uh, 398.75, uh, which appears uh, correct. Do check your work out, outside of the program. Don't just depend on it. We'll run it one more time and make sure uh, it handles the 40 hours. So we'll put in 40 times 7.25 and we get uh, the 290 we got before so it works for uh, overtime and for um, anything 40 and under as well that's just kind of a brief coverage of, of how an if statement can help the computer make decisions based on uh, that data and so we'll just save that save as and we'll just change the name slightly and put overtime in the name.